Well, it's almost that time of the year again where we see prophets and pastors as well as other faith institutions prophesy for the coming year. But watch out if your prophecy generates anxiety from predictions of impending harm, danger or death. Because the Ghana Police Service, according to a statement signed by the Director of Public Affairs, Chief Superintendent Grace Ansa Akrufi, who also encouraged faith-based organizations to continue to remember that whereas they have the right to practice their faith and religion, the freedom of worship and speech, as well as that right, must not be exercised in violation of the rights of others and the public interests. You recall that a year ago, the Ghana Police Service drew the attention of the public, especially members of the religious community, to that law regarding the communication of prophecies and urged compliance to the law to ensure continuous security and law and order in the country. And that right to free speech must not be exercised in violation of the rights of others as well as the public interests. But does this actually infringe of the rights of freedom of speech? Here's Justice Abdullah, who's a private legal practitioner. Um, when you gut individuals from expressing their views, um, ultimately kill a good um, democratic country uh, because no one will be able to voice out concerns that may ultimately address issues that all of us may probably uh, be suffering from. And so it is indeed very positive that we all are allowed to put our minds and our thoughts onto national issues um, to help all of us grow as a better country and build a solid foundation for the future. Well, he says prophets of doom should be targeted rather than having a wholesale approach. Tackle those ones rather than having a blanket guide on prophecies. I do not think that helps us in any way because the freedom of speech is very good for all of us, whether negatively or positively. Everything that we do in this country has its negative sides. There must be limitations, there must be regulations. And for me, the regulations and limitations should rather target, they should be targeted and focus on the negative aspects of the prophecies rather than just a blanket gagging of prophets and, and, their, and their utterances. He's also calling on the Ghana Police Service to act and prosecute these prophets of doom rather than resorting to these publications. If these prophecies were false, which is criminal, in the, at least within the present circumstances. But I do not think anyone would enforce these laws if they were positively made. Um, as against always prophesizing the death, kidnappings, and doom of others. Those would have potentially bad consequences. It remains to be seen this coming year how this move by the police would impact prophecies. For TV3 News, Imanol Somali.